Season four of the finals just dropped. I played a few hours, so now it's time to sit here and overreact to everything. First of all, Embark, y'all did it, man. We hope they had a plan, they got a plan, they executed the plan. And from the moment I opened the game, you know, you get greeted with the sponsors, first thing. I did contemplate not going with Halto. Like I said, I would in the last video, but that's what I ultimately chose, because I'll be honest with you, I don't like any of the rewards of the sponsors. I think they're pretty weak, but I didn't really care, because like, I have plenty of cosmetics already. Like, I wasn't really tripping about it. What I will say, though, is when... Dyson or Dyson however you say it which seems to just be Nissan that's got that same style to it that's gonna be the one for me the the Dyson stuff they got in the game already that is hard bro like the leather jacket with the gloves but yeah, I digress let's get to the weapons first off when I got in the game I bought the deagles now you don't get VRs that quick and you can you max out at 3k so play the games with the deagles I bought the matter 26 next and then I don't know when I'm gonna get the uh the pike so I haven't used that one yet but based off my friend, he bought it and how fast he was killing people with it, even when I would spectate him when I died. Like, hey man, we got new guns that are usable or that like stand up to the rest of the guns, to the SCAR and the AK and the, the M60 and all that. When I use them deagles, them Johns ain't nothing to play with, bro. Like, I didn't think they was going to have no crazy range, but they might. I don't know the numbers of it, but based off my just raw reaction to it, I mean, I seem like I could actually get some off at range. Like, it, it was exactly how I was hoping they'd do it. I didn't want it to be just like a super range limited gun as far as the damage fall off. Also, the fat, the fire rate was faster than I thought it'd be too. I know there was the preview event, but I look at that as like a sample because it, there's always some differences between the preview and the, like the final um, game of the launch. So actually playing with them and seeing how fast they fire, I'm like, yeah, these are a problem. I like it. And then I use the Matter 26 shotgun. That thing is also nice. I, was, I don't know when they added it with the crosshairs. You can just make it a dot or have no crosshair if you want. I must have missed that part because I, I didn't realize it until like last week, to be honest with you. But yeah, I switched my crosshair to just have a dot. It's much better. The new shotgun, I was running around with a dash, just swerving around. That, that thing is great. I feel like I could actually not full on challenge heavies. Plus, like, you know, like, I don't know the skill level of the people I was playing or whatever, but it was doable. Like we really in this season where all three guns they added are usable. Last season, I mean, you can physically use them, but you're not gonna see anyone else using them. Cause nobody wants to be fighting against the same guns all the time. And then the map itself, the new map Fortune Stadium, it felt big, but then also small at the same time. The way it's segmented into the three sponsors, like when I was in the auto section, like it felt like that was its own map and then i crossed the bridge now i'm in like a whole nother map there was one part that felt a lot like soul like it had a super tall building probably like i don't know 15 and 24 is i'm guessing and it has an elevator on the side and it's like all glass like every section felt different it didn't feel like it was just they made a section and then copy and pasted it two more times you know what i mean and like there are the, the patch notes i'm not gonna go through them you can read and there are already a bunch of videos out with just covering the patch notes already i will let you handle like the specific specificities lord but just from playing what i noticed immediately when i was playing heavy the rpg reloads slow which is a good thing and it also does a lot less damage which is a good thing like i actually considered using it for destruction at some points instead of just purely i need to one tap a light so like let me pull this thing out granted 100 damage is 100 damage like it still works even when i was fighting against other heavies as a light it didn't feel as like i had no chance of surviving once they pulled that thing out it was still a low chance because like you, they taken 100 out of your 150 but like it was it wasn't as oppressive also the way the destruction would like unfold felt different in a way i don't know how to really explain it it just wasn't the same on top of that the optimization i think was a little bit better because whenever i try to stream the game i get encoding issues and like encoding overload is what it says because the game is super cpu heavy like my gpu be chilling bro i don't be doing nothing i'll be running the graphics on high with ray tracing and everything it'll be at like 50 percent because it's just like not doing much playing that game but i was able to stream it for the most part had a couple encoding overload messages here and there but for the most part it was fine and it wasn't like that prior so it got a little bit better hopefully it'll still improve over time i think i have like a 5700x so it's like not the best but it's like not the worst and then how i mentioned i was really playing world tour world tour not having world tour not having cash taken away when you die or when you get team wiped 
on top of being able to change out your loadouts mid game. I think that that's a good separator. The main separator I learned when I did came through the patch notes was that the events like low gravity and stuff like that, that's only going to be in world tour and not in rank because low grab is annoying. The only time it's useful is when you have a jump pad and you're trying to get across the map kind of fast. That's really it for me. And every time like I don't want it. I, it creates variance and weird moments. It does. So it's good for world tour, but in ranked, I'm glad they took it out. But yeah, world tour definitely felt more casual than it did in season three. And I think with some LTMs during the season, then it'll it'll be a good separation from, from rank. Because my worry about world tour and ranked cash out tournaments was that it was going to turn out how it was when the game launched when you had ranked tournaments right next to unranked tournaments and they played the exact same. The only difference was that unranked tournaments had three rounds and ranked tournaments had four. Granted, all tournaments have three right now, but yeah, that's how it was in the beginning. And it didn't turn out like that, so I think they did a good job. We'll go use some work is the battle pass. Season three had the best battle pass. It's all preference, but for me, season three had the best one. This one was like, whatever. Like the paint splatter, I didn't care about it. The red camo one, for some reason, it reminded me of Fortnite's animation. I don't know why it was like, it's such a subtle difference, but it... Maybe think of that. It's not even a bad thing. I just noticed it. And like there were a few skins I liked in it. But like overall, I'm just like indifferent towards it, but they give you a lot more coins back than it actually costs. So it's worth it to get it regardless if you do plan on putting some money into the game. And then there's still like the starter pack. So if you put $10 in the end, you, buy, you could get that, get three skins and then get that $10 of coins that you're going to pay for anyway. Use that for battle pass. And they got another $20 bundle like $20 cash and then a $5 one also $5 cash and everything else was just like coins and then we get to the absolutely most important part the facial hair buddy got a beard now that's a real grown man they do cost the pay coins which I wasn't expecting but uh, I've seen so much worse with other games and how they do microtransactions so they didn't throw me that bad it was a little odd though like why the facial hair cost that I feel like the facial hair should cost like the the VRs would make a little more sense or maybe like you buy one style of beard and you get all the colors type of thing but yeah no major complaints for one the season launched and i didn't have to fight the game to open it i have to wait all day for a queue it it dropped and i got into it granted it dropped at 2 a.m my time i'm on pacific time so that probably has something to do with it i can see there being a bit more of a struggle if you're in europe or asia where it's like you know daylight for me it was cool I thought normally with season launches, I just expect something to go wrong. Like no matter what game it is, I expect something to go wrong and it did. But yeah, man, that's all I got. Let me know what you think of the season so far. Your overreaction, good or bad. Leave a like on the video, sub to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.